instead for we need to add the battery part so we just select the battery here and then uh, select add this component okay after that um, use the place by pick option and then we click somewhere here after that select okay now we want to connect it so we just select the connect icon okay after that we pick this face and this face and then we change it to tangent and anti align after that click apply after that we just pick this face and this face uh, we change it to tangent and anti align okay after that click apply next is uh, we zoom in we click this face and this face okay the coincident we change it to distance uh, the natural alignment we change it to anti-align the distance is 2 after that click ok now the uh, battery part is uh, connect with the Game Boy here ok assemble um, in we need to assemble the different parts of the Game Boy so before that make sure you copy the start CTF file into your working folder ok after that we select the file and then select unpack select the Game Boy make sure select the Game Boy from your uh, working folder open after that press the control button on the keyboard and A to select all after that select unpack for example I put uh, sorry the destination pass means we need to select uh, the place to put it okay so I select the new folder here I make a new folder for example I renames it for assembly okay after that um, the use folder path we change it to without folder history after that select ok 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 we can close it now we will need to open the file so select open the file and then we select uh, select it from your working folder select the Game Boy ok and then load okay now the game boy is display at here okay step two this is height or show this is color and this one is a render and the last one is float or fix now we want to hide the battery cover this is battery cover okay and then we hide it so we click the bulb here and then we change want to change the mode of lower cover this is lower cover change the mode to 50% transparent okay after that we need to change the color of the screen holding part this is screen holder part change the color to this color okay after that we just right click and then select the reset color and render mode to sorry to restore the original color and render setting of the component so, so we select this okay 
in step 3 we need to add the left clicker and connect it to the top cover part so before that i want to introduce to you this is dynamic zoom we can zoom in zoom out and then this is pan okay and this one is the rotate to rotate the game boy okay beside that we also can use uh, sorry is can press the control button on the keyboard and then left click to rotate it uh, press control button on the keyboard and then press the middle button of mouse to pan and the same method also press the control button on the keyboard and then right click to zoom in and zoom out the uh, Game Boy okay now we want to add the left clicker part so we just select the add component icon this one and then select it from your file working folder sorry it's your working folder and then we select the left clicker after that click here and then the place by pick option is selected place by pick and place somewhere here okay after that click apply sorry it's okay now we want to connect it so we just uh, select this connect icon here and then we select this face press middle button and this face okay after that then uh, click apply okay after that uh, just rotate it then we select this face and this face okay after that click OK. In step 7, we need to add motor, so we need to select this add component icon. Make sure you select the motor from your uh, working folder, and then the place by pick option is select, and we pick somewhere here. After that, keep, click OK. Now we want to hide the top cover, so you, it will be like this, okay, we can rotate it to see the, after that, we need to connect it, so we need to select this connect icon, and select uh, this face, and select this face okay after that uh, click apply in step 7 we need to add the motor so select the add component uh, select the motor make sure you select from your working folder and then place by pick option is select uh, pick it here after that click OK now we want to uh, hide the top cover so click this bar after that we need to connect it so click the connect icon uh, click this face and this face after that click apply After that, we select this face and this face, and then we can click um, apply. In step 7, we need to add the motor, so we select the add component. Uh, make sure you select it from your working folder. Okay, click the motor and click select. 
um, place by pick option is selected and then we pick here okay and then click ok after that we need to hide the top cover so we just click the bar and then we need to what we need to do is connect it to here so click the connect icon and then select um, this face and this face and then uh, click apply after that uh, we need to select this face and this face the coincidence we change it to distance and the distance is 0.4 after that we can click ok in step 5 what we need to do is um, select this point oh, sorry is this button make sure the filter Face, oh sorry, filter object is on, so we select this button and then right click, select add this component. Different components in option is selected and then click here. Okay, then select OK. After that, we need to hide the lower cover, right clicker and the part two. Okay, and then we just uh, select the connect icon to connect it so this face is pick and this face after that the natural alignment we change it to align and then we click apply after that um, we just scroll it to find this face This face and then to find this face after that um, click OK and then uh, right click here sorry it's click here and then right click select activate um, component and then uh, the remove extrude editing here we just select the edit sketch or composite curve oh, sorry it's composite and then the angle here just double click and then change it to 30 degree and here the uh, distance here we change it to 40 and here change it to 9 and then we just exit the sketcher or just right click and then select exit sketcher